I'm Keith Goldberg. I'm a, a general surgeon here at Northwest Medical Center in Springfield, Tennessee. I've been doing a general and vascular surgery here in Springfield for the past 20 years. I have been doing the TIF procedure for the last year, approximately. I really researched it for about two years prior. I was lacking in my care of our, of our reflux patients that, uh, generally speaking, for the last 20 years, we would give them proton pump inhibitors, slap them on the back, and if they weren't doing well, we'd give them more, tell them sit upright, don't eat late at night, change their diet, et cetera, uh, and, um, and just really felt that they were neglected. Uh, my wife was a lifelong sufferer of acid reflux, uh, really for the past 25 years, and went through that same pattern uh, with her gastroenterologist. And when her reflux continued to worsen, uh, he would increase her proton pump inhibitor. Uh, she developed osteoporosis uh, before the age of 50. Uh, and there was always the question, you know, was this related to the proton pump inhibitor? Was it not? Uh, her symptoms weren't being well controlled. And uh, so, um, that probably stimulated me because I had to deal with that at home a lot, uh, with her sitting up at night and, and suffering in that regard, and the medicine just wasn't doing it. Uh, but, uh, but her gastroenterologist didn't really have anything else to offer her or make any suggestions. Really just started looking at, uh, in addition, the data that started coming out suggesting uh, a multitude of complications potentially related to the proton pump inhibitors. Uh, stimulated me to start looking at the various options. And ultimately, after looking at all these uh, various options, I decided that TIF uh, was really the, the best option. She uh, went up to Kentucky to, uh, to Dr. Barnes, uh, who's performed uh, hundreds of uh, the fundoplication. She did great. Uh, she's off her proton pump inhibitors. A lot of the recovery is related to your post-operative care uh, and monitoring the diet. And uh, the diet's pretty strict, and so I do have that a conversation with all of my patients uh, preoperatively uh, in regards to a very slow uh, diet, very small amounts initially, and then a, a progressive increase in both uh, quantity and, uh, and quality uh, over six weeks uh, to allow that area to heal and hopefully provide a long durable repair. The way I, I explain to the patients is that, number one, that the valve isn't working, uh, that they're now used to many years of that valve just being wide open, allowing things to go down and come right back up. I describe the TIF procedure as a partial fundoplication. I describe it as being very similar to the Nissen fundoplication, but with a lower side effect profile. Uh, it's more comparable to what's called a toupee fundoplication that surgeons would be familiar with, uh, where we take the stomach, the fundus, and partially wrap it around the esophagus. That leaves a small portion of the esophagus open. That allows for patients to belch, vomit if necessary, and certainly not having trouble, any trouble swallowing things. Um, it decreases the risk of those long-term complications that can occur in up to 20 to 25 percent of patients after a Nissen fundoplication. Patients are telling me to keep doing this. Uh, patients are telling me that they, they really appreciate it, uh, that it has been a dramatic change for them. And of course, during this first year, I'm extremely curious uh, because I have the data go on, I have other surgeons experience, but there's nothing like knowing how your patients are doing. Uh, so we're very thorough in questioning our patients, uh, really trying to find out how they did, what were the hardest parts of the recovery, um, and um, how they're doing off of their uh, acid suppression medications. A lot of them uh, really are not having any major complaints uh, afterwards. Uh, most patients are excited that they might lose five to 10 pounds uh, because of the uh, weight loss uh, related to the diet. Uh, but I do tell them this is not a weight loss surgery and that uh, once they resume their normal diet, they're likely to return to their, their baseline weight. I would say have an open mind. I would say look at the data uh, look at the well over 20,000 uh, straight transoral incisionless fundoplications performed in this country, and then look at the newer modality, which really from a surgeon's standpoint, if you can fix that hiatal hernia, um, really makes you feel like you're much more equivalent to the traditional surgical therapies. So it's really not much of a stretch, uh, and it really adds really a new, a new weapon into your arsenal. Doesn't mean that I don't give my patients the option of a Nissen fundoplication. I do, 
Um, I always give them that option. I tell them about other options that are available uh, and ultimately let them make that decision. One of the amazing things about doing this procedure as a surgeon is there are very few operations that you get to do where you have just an immediate gratification afterwards. This is literally the only operation that I've done in the past several years where we're actually high-fiving after the operation uh, because it looks so good. And when you look at the anatomy and you know you fixed their hiatal hernia and you've rebuilt that valve, uh, you know, I walk into that patient's room with confidence uh, post-operative day one and am very excited for them. I'm very excited about the adventure that awaits them afterwards uh, without proton pump inhibitors, uh, with a normal diet, and without the side effect profile uh, that is historic historically elevated with the, with the Nissen fundoplication. So I would say that my patients are very happy. It uh, definitely was a leap of faith initially, but it was based on data that was out there, but also many surgeons that are available for you to talk to, uh, surgeons that have been very open. And, and all of the surgeons that perform this operation that I've spoken to, they're all very excited about it. Uh, and this is even after five of 10 years of performing this. Uh, they feel the same way that I'm feeling now. Uh, they don't understand why more people aren't doing this, and I think it's just a non-traditional operation, um, but it's growing.